Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jenna. Smile to Jenna. On April the 13th in a town in Italy called Carpi, uh, like you're peeing in the car. Yeah. Which is one of the most affected by the current pandemic. There was an interfaith event that was hosted by the local mayor Alberto Bellelli. Leaders from all faiths were invited and it was there that Imam Selmi read a passage from the Quran, more specifically from a surah called Surah Ali Imran. Boy, this virus never ceases to surprise me. I mean, were it not for this virus, would those very streets have ever heard the Quran? I mean, those streets have witnessed such strife and disobedience. I wonder if they could speak, what would they be saying to each other? I can also imagine the angels lining up and listening to the recitation. What would the conversation be between the shayateen and the devils? You know it reminds me of the Treaty of Hudaybiyah when it seemed like the Muslims got a raw end of the deal but Allah described it as a great victory <laughs> and this seems to be the theme of our lives that if we actually think back it's through our most difficult experiences that we have learnt and grown from the most. I mean let's just look into nature. Carbon, if you look at carbon it looks disgusting, it's just black ash, black powder. If you put carbon under intense pressure that's when you get a diamond. Shame right? Like a Pause this guy for a second, be quiet for a second, okay, shut him up, shut him up. A rose looks very beautiful but once upon a time it was a seed and that had to grow in the darkness and the depths of the soil and manure you know if you want to make it fertile and all that. And another beautiful example is a troubled sea makes a skilled sailor. If there's no troubled sea he's not gonna get a chance to show his true worth. Even if you take a butterfly it emerges from the darkness of a cocoon. Look at a cocoon, you don't look at it and go ah. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? And this difficulty? Guys, it may be the answer to your prayers. Didn't you ask Allah for more time? Didn't you ask Allah for opportunities of self-reflection and time with family? And remember, it is this moment in time that changed the direction of your life for the better. And that's why I say, own it, embrace it, take it all in. I'm gonna leave it there guys. Until next time. اكشف عنا هذا الهم اذهب عنا هذا الوباء احفظ كاربي وإيطاليا من كل سوء يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين السلام عليكم